Adam. You know those Germans? They give us a head up. The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is down in a war zone. I think we need to turn back. What do you think? I bet Joshi and Shane will be mad jealous about this. How much? 30 cents. For a bet? No, I'm talking about the drink. Oh. Spend your life savings on that drink? No. He did. I don't get it, Pierre. You know, we could have gotten something valuable with that money. We could have gotten new clothes. Clyde's right. I've been wearing this for months. All right. I'm sorry, but it looks so good. By the way, when is Josephine coming? Is she looking at the new ship? Yes, it's leaving in a couple of days. Have any of you heard from Charles and Adam? They're supposed to be back. I suppose they got caught in the storm. But I am sure they are both fine. That would be 25 cents, please. What? 25 cents for a beer?
give me it. Give me it already! Do you think that I'm not serious? Wait, 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 wait! How to use a gun, do you? Clack, clack, clack. Just shoot it already. Whoa! What? We need to go now. Clyde! Running low on food. Josephine and Shane are gonna be coming back with food. So, how much bread we got? About five. Uh. Let's hope that they have plenty of food when they come back, huh? Oh, and uh, how are we on the drinks? Yeah. About that. We only got a couple of drinks thanks to Pierre. Shouldn't have blown it all on one drink. Of course some random psychopath had to almost kill me. If we keep this up, we're gonna have to end up stealing stuff. Like how you stole that outfit, Clyde. Don't mention that again. We have no food. If we can live here with a month's worth of apples, then yeah. You think they'll like apples? No? I don't. But do you think they'll like it that we're stealing again? But remember the last time I did this? I got arrested. But we won't make the same mistake again. We could hide it in the shed. All right. Let's go back now. What took you so long?
We need to talk inside. So while me and Shane were collecting food, we came across something. We saw the Lusitania parked at Dock 54. You all have heard of it, right? Oh yeah, the boat in the papers. The boat's made of paper? It's heading to the UK. And I saved up some money for tickets. How much tickets? Five of them. Well, I would do anything to get away from this piece of junk. And that insane murdering alcoholic guy in the bar. What? He's dead. We're good. What I'm trying to say is, I'm in. I'll go, I guess. Clyde? All right, well, you have some time to change your mind. We leave at sunrise. Yeah. Let's trade spots. I don't like wine anyway. Why? I just decided I need to do more with myself. Ever since the bar, I don't know why I hid under the table. I should have helped out. It's fine. Quit worrying and go to sleep. When it's your turn to do an old-timey narration, there are a few things that all boys and girls should consider. Do you know how to properly use a mid-Atlantic accent? Shane, can you, you turn off the radio? Carter's little liver pills? Do you know how to properly use the phrases gosh, golly, gee whiz, or and how? Have you ever watched Little Blair, Orphan Annie? We're leaving, get ready. Taken a for something, drank Pepsi Cola, smoked a Winston cigarette, or tried rich chocolatey Ovaltine? Because it'll... Where's Pierre? Are we leaving? Mr. Pop.
Here we go. Everything changes from here. Where's Pierre? Is he not a fan of traveling? Anyways, Clyde, what made you want to go with us? Oh yeah, I changed my mind, I guess. Maybe it won't be so bad. Josephine, can you answer my question? What happened to Pierre? Oh look, we're here. We are all ready for a departure, sir. Are we golden? Indeed. Let us have an exceptional voyage.
I called the top bunk before we even got here. The bottom bunk can be pretty nice too. Just try it. Okay, fine. So I guess Shane and Blair are asleep? I guess it was a lot for Blair. Could I tell you a secret? Well, I guess, yeah. How hard could it be? Shane is... I don't know how to say this, but... Unstable. Just don't tell him what happened to Pierre, okay? I won't tell. Look at this filth! Why don't you head back over to the swamp you belong in? Go on, before you stink up this entire ship. Please leave us alone, mister! Ugh! How abysmal this behavior is. Why can I interfere? All I had to do is tell him to stop. Got pretty intense fog today. Definitely, more than usual. Are you sure about the frequent use of the horn? We are carrying weapons. This could attract many un unwanted ears. No need to worry about it. We need to focus on getting the ammunition to the British. Shall we keep a lookout for the Germans? Indeed. Yes, sir. Yeah, have you tried out the tea? It's actually pretty good. Texture is pretty nice, and it tastes- oh man. Fog seems to have cleared by now. Right. 
have you noticed anything off here? No. This ship seems a little slower than promise. They did promise us a quick voyage, right? I guess. I'm going to take a smoke. Pretty nice out here, huh? Want one? I, I don't do that. I bought the coal mine business. How's Nathan been doing? He's been running at mine very well, from what I heard, at least. Oh, Nathan? He's long dead. He was on his way to New York on the Titanic. Unfortunately, it sunk and the cold Atlantic water took him. I'm sorry for your loss. Really, I am. It's fine, George. Psst. Blair. What? What do you want to do when we get to the UK? I don't know yet. But I will try getting a job. I was thinking of opening up a weapon shop. I really like knives. You didn't kill anyone, right? Not yet. It's just a joke. What's wrong with you? You got me for a second. Don't take me so seriously. On a more serious note, Pierre didn't die on accident. He was murdered. That was no accident. The guy in the bar must have did that while we were sleeping. But why didn't he kill the rest of us? I think we should stop talking about this. Good night. Thank you.